Hey everybody, welcome back. Falcon 60 Seconds DLC Update number 2, or at least episode number 2 of the DLC update. You know what I mean. We are on day 21, and we're doing relatively fine, other for the fact that Mary Jane's a bit sick now, but we have a bunch of food and water, which is actually looking pretty fine. We have also triggered a few events with the military, and also the survivors from Hill Valley, which if I do believe I'm correct here, is another way of being rescued. So we're playing two sides of the field right now, and we'll see which one kind of saves us first here. So day 21, let's go forward here. Mary Jane will be fine, it's not the first time, and it won't be the last time she's sick. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, let's continue going forward here. Uh, we remember that we have to feed Timmy and give him water on day 23. He's a little bit of a different uh, schedule now than our grown-ups and Mary Jane because we sent him out to scavenge at one point. So his schedule's a bit wacky now. So for now, we're not going to send anybody out there. We were able to catch a military... Oh, God. So we're a bit stuck in a military quest to get rescued because we need a flashlight for it, which we don't have. They're asking us to go outside and signal them, but, you know, we have no flashlight to do it. So for now, we have to kind of wait until we either find a flashlight or we just continue the path of uh, Savior with uh, the Hill Valley people. So we'll see which one comes first here. Uh, the signal has to wait, right? Day 22, no food or water for anybody else, and that's fine. Nothing went down, which is okay. I'm considering sending uh, somebody out there for another scavenge here pretty soon. I'm just trying to figure out who I should do that with. I would like another med kit or a bug spray to fix the med kit for Mary Jane. Obviously, the flashlight would be really good to get in touch with the government again, but... Yeah, we might have to do that pretty soon here. Uh, fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Correct. You are not wrong, game. Let's go ahead and feed and give water to Timbo over here. He's gonna be fine for a while, and... Sending Timmy out, out of the question. The Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane, but she's sick, so I'm not really sure if I could trust that. Dolores is in pretty good shape, and Ted seems to be really good shape for a trip. Alrighty, we'll give it a few more days and we'll see if, um, it lightens up here a little bit. Uh, how about we put the radio to good use now? Something might be on the air even now. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and maybe we'll get some good news about something here. Or maybe we'll get some bad news. Oh, or maybe we'll just break the radio as well. <laughs> uh, of course. Thanks a lot, game. Oh, damn it. Something blew up inside the radio and the wretched thing caught fire. We were able to put it out, but it doesn't work anymore. Of course. Of course. No surprise there. RNG loves to RNG. Uh, let's see here. No, nobody out just yet. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It was... There was no address or name on it, but we were pretty sure it was meant for us. Should we open it? Uh, what do you guys think here? We had one of these last um, episode over. If you guys remember, we had a small suitcase. This time, it's a leather suitcase. Is that a difference? Does that mean anything? How long can we trust this? The first time around, we got a can of food out of it, which was fine. But, uh... Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't want to do it. What if it's from the same people, though? Oh, okay, we'll, we'll find out what's in the suitcase. I have no choice, right? Okay. Whatever was in there is fine now, maybe? Is Timmy banged up? What was in the suitcase? Damn it, the gift was booby-trapped! There was nothing inside besides some junk, and as soon as we opened the suitcase, it exploded! Is anybody hurt? Yeah? Timmy is. Oh, great. So now both of my kids are really severely hurt. One of them's sick, and then one of them's actually just, you know, completely crippled over here. That's great. We have no medic to cure that up, either. Alrighty, so... Suitcase event is random. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. I wonder if the leather suitcase is a bad one and the small suitcase is a good one. Something to keep an eye out on. So, day 25, everybody gets water except for Timmy for this one. We'll continue going forward here. We found an anonymous note next to our sheltered door. Whoever wrote it requests that we send one representative to a meeting tonight in a set location. That person must come unarmed. This bit worries us, but this author assures us that he or she is friendly and doesn't mean to hurt us. Are we going to send someone to check it out? Uh, yeah. Yeah, who do we send? Do we send Mary Jane? She's already kind of sick, so anything goes down. I mean, I guess she's going to die at some point because of the illness, right? Yeah, we'll send Mary Jane. Mary Jane, do us well. She's back. And the map is burned. Did that just happen, or what just... What went down here? Let's see. It's true. It's all true. There are really others just like us. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time, and we were greeted by a friendly-looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins, a brother and a sister, who seem to be friendly enough. 
They asked us some questions and promised to stay in touch. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. She brought back also a suitcase, another padlock, and car and sweater this time around. Hey, good on you. Our map really took a beating, though. That's unfortunate. Alright, Mary Jane is quite hungry, she keeps fainting, and it's pretty fatigued. So, because she's been out, we have now mixed up her um, feeding schedule as well. So when, um, when should we, uh, give her food and water now? We gave her food and water on day 25, right? Yes. So, she's now on day 29? So day 28 would be Timmy right now. And then day 29 would be, um, Mary Jane. <laughs> I think that's what's happening right now. Okay, we'll go with that one. Uh, day 26, a medkit would have been great, but so be it. Are we going to go outside and scavenge? Uh, at this point, we have two people that are really hurt, so, man, I would like another medkit for that. But at the same time, I'm not sure we should really be risking it right now. We have a bunch of food anyway, so we'll just wait it out. We'll wait it out. Oh, hey, speaking of which. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she brought along. She offers bullets for cards. She offers a fire axe for a map. She offers a medkit for a padlock. And she offers a Boy Scout magazine for that. So we could do... What do you guys think we need? Do we need the medkit more or do we need the, uh, the bullets? I'm going to say we obviously need the medkit more, right? Because we could fix up one of our kids now. Alrighty, padlock. I am still not going to find out what the padlock is for, but there you go again. I keep bringing that in and losing it all the time, it seems. Mary Jane's gone. We lost Mary Jane. Oh, when Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this and that she's getting her water one way or another. We are seriously terrified now. Wow, so did it jump her up two days? But I gave her water and food on day 25, did I not? Maybe I'm over here imagining this. Okay, well, we lost Mary Jane. But now at least we have a medic to fix Timmy up, so we'll at least save one of the kids, right? Um, so, Timmy, there you go. You have to eat on day 28. So we'll give you the medikit now, and she is lost to us now, and Timmy should be fixed up here pretty soon. Alrighty, hey. Oh, look, we have another tray, too. When we heard a knock on the door this morning, we held our breath in fear. But we soon heard children's voice coming from the outside. We decided to open it up. It turned out the voice belonged to a pair of girl scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they have branched out, and now they offer items too. Smart girls. So they offer the Boy Scout magazine for the um, bug spray, and they offer a map for the checkerboard. Yes! Yes, give me a map. Give me a map, girl scouts. Thank you so much. Alrighty. We're getting some really back-to-back -back amazing trades happening over here too. I'm happy about that. Alright, so now we have the map, and we have lost the checkerboard. Really good. Timmy is now going to get his food and water. That is for a fact. There you go, son. We're still looking pretty good in food and water, I would say. We could hold out for a bit longer. And let's see. Being saved down here is much better than being pulverized out there. Yeah, you and me both, game. You and me both. Day 29. What do we got? Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Timmy should eat something. No, no, no. Don't tell me that. I just gave him water and food, game. Uh, let's see, day 29. Ha, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own Fallout Garden. We got a bunch of mushrooms. No, 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 leave the mushrooms alone. Do not eat the mushrooms. I think there's a random event where you could get some food out of it, but the majority of times I've actually gone with it myself, it's always been bad, so it makes me sick, so yeah. For the most part, you might want to ignore that one, unless you're feeling really lucky about things. All right, day 30 is going to be food and water day for the grown-ups here. There you guys go. Enjoy, and you would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since, you know, most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet here we have someone at the door. When we opened it, we encountered a strange-looking man in a blue jumpsuit and asked us to trade him a water chip. A water chip? What the hell is that? So this is where you could give this guy water for a mask. We already have a mask, so I don't want to give my water away, so no. Sorry, Fallout man, you are not going to get my limited amount of water here because I already have the gas mask. Day 31. Nothing bad came out of this, right? Did he steal from me? No, he didn't steal from me either. Good. Uh, we were starting to explain that we don't have a water chips and that we didn't have one. He thanked us in a few short words and left. Alrighty, Timmy's very hungry. Dolores is pretty fatigued. Alrighty, so we continue going forward for now. Oh! We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. 
We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. They must have some supplies in our opinions, we need them more. The well-being of our family is the most important thing in the world, right? Oh wow, so we could actually go out now and be raiders ourselves too. Oh boy, oh boy. Do we have a gun out of curiosity? <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm just curious. We do have a weapon. We could go over there and hold these old people up. I'm not going to do it. Not with this run. I feel that, you know, I feel like it's maybe testing us to see how much of an asshole I am. And if I'm an asshole, they're not going to rescue me anymore. You know, so no, no, let's just leave it alone. We have a bunch of water and food yet. We're no bandits. Sure, we need supplies, but not at the cost of others. We won't bother those people. A man who takes canned tomato soup from another is not worthy to taste that soup. Let's just hope that everybody else out there is as decent as our family. Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll get a little bit of karma because of my good nature over here. I doubt it, but you know, I would like to hope that would be the case. Day 32? Uh, day 33 is when we fit, uh, feed Timmy again, so let's make sure not to forget that. The friendly group of survivors we met along long ago popped up today with a request. The group is planning to build a small settlement for themselves, but a lot of them were injured during a recent fight against the bandits. They need everybody up and running in order to work quickly and efficiently. They're asking for some medical supplies that they could use to tend or injured. Man, we don't have that. That's really bad because this is essentially the other quest line to get rescued. So if we do everything with the other survivors, we'll get rescued by them instead of the military. But um, we have no medkits, so man, I'm, I'm thinking we might actually go out and scavenge here pretty soon. Just because we have no way to repair the medkit too. We have no bug spray either, so we need a few items to make that happen. Sadly, there was nothing we could offer them. As we are short on meds and bandages ourselves, they promised to come back after scouting around some more. Okay, let's hope that we haven't, um, you know, rubbed them the wrong way because we didn't give them any items. I mean, I really have no item. If I had an item, I decided to keep it away from you. Understandable if you're mad dent, but I literally have no medicine, even for us. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there, right? So I'm thinking day 34, we're sending somebody out here pretty soon. Assuming they're in good condition for it. Timmy seems pretty fine. Alright, let's see here. Uh, we can take care of ourselves. Timmy should eat something. Timmy has rested. Alrighty. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Uh, you're set for day 35, Dolores. You're fine right now. Don't give me that. Uh, let's see. Timmy seems quite enthusiastic about the trip. Dolores is confident she will survive outside. And Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. Well, everybody seems pretty good about it, too, huh? Okay. I'm thinking... Timbo, right? Go with Timmy again. Uh, one minute, it was all fine, and the next we were all at each other's throat! Alright, so day 35 is gonna be water and food day, and then we send Timmy out there as well, and hopefully he could find something for us here. Let's see. Give you guys, uh, water and food. Fine. Alrighty. Some of us are keener to go outside than the others, so today's gonna be Timmy. And what is he going to take with him? Uh, cards probably don't really need them. Padlock? We don't even have the padlock anymore. <laughs> Why is it still showing that we have it? I'm just going to leave it there, you know? Leave it there. Uh, yes, take the rifle. And uh, what else do we want to take here? Uh, that's fine. Yeah, go with the map and the rifle to protect yourself and take the imaginary padlock that we apparently have. Go on, Timmy. Good luck to you. Find us some uh, medicine, please, and some more food and water would be pretty ideal as well. So over here in the shelter, we're left with really not much to our name. Other than a pair of cards. We could play some cards. You guys, uh, you want to play some strip poker here, Dolores? <laughs> Just you and me. The kids are gone, baby. Anyway, stop being a pervert here, Falcon. Uh, time to ration supplies. You already guys, you guys got water already, so you're fine. Oh, wow. We, I forgot that I just sent Timmy out there, so I have now messed up his schedule again. By two more days, so... Hmm. I have to figure out the mat behind that one. A few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating through the shelter. We have to fix it before we suffocate like rats trapped by a professional and very cruel rat catcher. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. No, no. Okay, we're not dead. Oddly enough. I thought we were going to be dead. <laughs> I thought we were going to literally suffocate. Or if anything, all of us be sick. But at least we're in one piece right now. Uh, we decided to ignore our problems with the vents and focus on other problems. As predicted, all of us developed a nasty cough and had trouble breathing, but it got better next morning. We don't know what the issue was, but the important thing is it's gone now. Okay, let's hope that's really the case. Uh, we'll continue going forward here, and... Oh, another trade! Unfortunately, we have nothing to trade on. Yeah. Today we were visited by a strange-looking little man who introduced himself as a trader! 
<laughs> He's a little guy. That's uh, funny. We have nothing to trade with the little guy, though, so unfortunately for you, you have to amscray on out of here. All right, Timmy, please get back. Don't lose the items that I sent out with you. No water for you guys right now. You will be fine. I have nothing to trigger those events right there either, so day 39. Eh, at least we're in one piece. Luckily, the cough wasn't anything really too dangerous, it doesn't seem, anyway. Alrighty, day 39. The twins kept their promise and came to visit us again. The issue is simple, they need meds, badly. They started building their own camp, but some of the workers were ambushed by a bunch of raiders. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, twins. I want to be part of your society. I just have no medicine right now. We're just waiting for our son to find some. Get back to me soon, I, I hope. <laughs> Sadly, there was nothing we could offer them. Of course, there isn't. We have no med kit. Alrighty, uh, the trash can. Uh oh Oh, good. We're about to get the roaches, too. And with the roaches come illness. And the ill... The end. The end. Oh my, that thing is huge! And there goes another one! Roaches everywhere! We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Oh, come on. Didn't get the med kit. He found a Boy Scout magazine. He found some bullets. He found a flashlight. But we still died. Oh boy, there you guys go. 60 seconds in a nutshell, the DLC update. So we got to day 41. The fact that we couldn't get the med kit. Oh, we had the flashlight. Oh, but the radio was broken. So we were kind of in a weird situation here. We had the flashlight to signal the military now, but a radio was broken, so we couldn't really do that anymore. Alternatively, we had no med kit to proceed the storyline with the survivors from Hill Valley. One way or the other, we were kind of boned now, weren't we? Oh, look at the roaches over here, too. Yuck! A mutant cockroach! Yep, you're telling me. Oh, Dolores. You have never looked worse. Anyway, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. Doesn't mean a lot. We'll come back next episode and try it again. I will catch you then.